Matapos ang knockout victory ni Mark Magnifico magsaya kontra kay Pablo Cruz noong 2021. Apat na buwan lang ang nakalipas ay agad na naikasa ang sumunod na laban nito sa Bansang Amerika. Ito ay kontra sa isa sa pinakadelikadong boksidor ng Bansang Mexico at ito ay si Julio Ceja. Ito ay isang malaking pagsubok para kay Magsayo sapagkat ito ang unang beses na lalaban nito sa isang dekalibreng world class opponents na katulad ni Julio Ceja. Dagdag pa rito ay kilala naman natin ang husay at galing ng mga Mexican fighter pagdating sa pagkikipaglaban. Si Julio Ceja ay may mataas na knockout ratio na 87 na ang ibig sabihin sa 32 na panalo nito ay 28 dito ang nakuha via knockout at ito ay hindi nakakapagtaka para sa isang Mexican warrior samantalang si Magsayo naman ay no ay may record lamang na 22 win at 15 dito ay via knockout sa laban na ito hangad ng ating pambato na si Magsayo na makuha ang tagumpay upang maging contender sa WBC World Featherweight title Absolutely, they will right. match up. It's a little preview of what's to come. Here as well, again, Mark Magsayo. He's got that long jab, Joe, and he's... Sa pagsapit ng mismong laban, segundo pa lamang ang lumilipas round 1 ay pinatikim na ng ating pambato na si Magsayo ang bangis ng mga kamao nito nang tamaan ito ng quick left hook si Seha. Dahilan upang ito ay agad na bumagsak. Subalit dito ay nagawa pang makatayo ni Seha. Wow. Shaky right away. Seha will try to survive now. Long way to round number one. It looks like Magsayo go to work. Four left hooks, one after another. Seha would like to be nose to nose with him, not on the end of those long punches from Maxi. Uh, Ismail Salas is get out of this round. Let's clear your clear for the first no, few seconds no. after. No, he's probably still a little bounce back good. He, he's in here digging. See, that's what I mean. He's a really precision puncher. Man, he just has lots of skills on the inside. Seha's a fighter who's had big before he got knocked out in the eighth. But then he earned that draw against Brandon Figueroa. Final 30 seconds of round number one. Mixayo is just explosive. Just hook in the uppercut. It, it, it gains its speed it, as he goes along. It comes so quickly. It's a beautiful it, hook. It really I mean, is. And it was like a slow motion fall by Seha. I mean, it was just. And if I were, to, if I were talking to Seha, the guy hand up real high. And that hook just whistled yeah. over Seha's head. That is how hard he throws that. It is. Oh, he got off with a lead hook there. Sa pagsapit ng round 2 ay dito mo talaga kabibiliban ang mga Mexican fighter dahil sa bilis makarecover nito at tila ba walang nangyaring knockdown sa round 1. Even if it's not okay, this is okay. Right. Tell them what could be, not exactly what is. Well put. Nice combination there by Mike Sayazar. And then he has a special, like, sixth gear that he throws He's into. He's getting it. inside now without getting clipped. He's keeping his hands up good. Uh, you know, this could be interesting. Some wars. He went to the UK in 2013. Uh, no, 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 no. That's eight years ago. Lost him. That was for a vacant IBF belt at 118. So, like, he went, again, he was the traveling man going to England. And he's fought some great guys and yeah. before Riggin yeah. overpowered he was, him. He was outlanding him. Oh, I mean, cleanly no doubt, uh, outlanding him, outboxing him, and looked good. But these sharp punches now. Believe me, he's, he's staying out of this fight right now. He'll, he'll come in when he has to. He's a real short, compact puncher. Tries the right, the right hand lead. Now a right hand to the body. Fast twitch. This is at 126 pounds, by the way. You know, something in seconds. Know. Round number two. Seha already down in round number one. Sa pagpasok ng round 3, patuloy na umiinit ang bakbakan na sa sobrang lakas ng mga kamaong binibitawan ng bawat manlaro ay tila ba nagpuputukan ito sa ibabaw ng lona at malinaw mong maririnig ang mga ito. So, an inspirational rise by Maxayo to get to this fight here tonight in Las Vegas. So, very nice, very nice. And, um, I would have been Maxayo doesn't really have to do that, right? Gets in close there. Again, it is. And Sejas landed a see. You saw Maxayo go down to the body because he got clipped with a couple. See, the like that. Land. You see body okay. shots landing. Seha outlanding Maxayo. Uh, some guys really pull it off and he's winning. I like how when you describe that, you said <laughs> you and me, Brian. All right? I know, it's a linger shot. Look at this combination. A little five punch action from Maxayo. You, know, you know, he's really good at using his body as a, as a defensive mechanism. Does it there too. Lance with a hook. Blocked once. 
sa pagsapit ng round 4 ay nagagawang makapagpatama ng mga kombinasyon ni Magsayo. Subalit, agad namang nakakasagot dito ang Meksikanong si Seha. It's uh, intermittent. Kind of like Manny Pacquiao and Juan Manuel Marquez. First time they fought. Knocked him down three times in the first yeah, round. No. Until he got out of round one. Kept walking into it. Good yeah. fight so far. Maxayo showing the class. Good liver shot by Seha. That's right. Fires back a double hook right away. I remember this is a 12-round fight. Yeah. And if Seha, you know, 6th, 7th, 8th round, if he can not get flipped oh. like that. So fast. Right hand counter, and then once again, not a wide discrepancy, obviously. Well, oh, they're both giving and taking, is there? And oh. it's on the side of the liver, which really does the damage. Good uppercut that landed by Seha. That picked up the head. Exile fires back now. A lot of spirit in this young man. Sa laban na ito, hangad din ni Julio Seha na makuha ang tagumpay. Kaya naman, pagsapit ng round 5. ay napabagsak nito ang ating pambato na si Magsayo nang tamaan nito ni Seha ng isang one-to combination. Agad na napaluhod si Magsayo sa ibabaw ng lona. Delikado ito sapagkat halatang napuruhan ito ng mga suntok ni Seha. Subalit sa pagkakataong ito ay tila ba pumapabor kay Magsayo ang tadhana nang ito ay mailigtas ng pagtunog ng bell. Six! Seven! Eight! Okay! He's hurt! Talagang mahirap kalaban ng mga Mexican fighter Sa puntong ito, hindi na alam ni Magsayo kung makaka-recover pa ito sa mga susunod na round Sa pagpasok ng round 6, disidido na talaga ang Mexicanong si Seha na tapusin ng Pinoy Kaya naman, hindi ito nagpapigil sa pagbabato ng malalakas na atake Each man with a knockdown Seha's using. He had landed Seha 19 body shots that last round. round. Joe looked like yeah. a future world champ. Now he's getting busted up. This love up real high. Nice combination that. from that Seha. That's a bad yeah. shot. Right in this kid as well. well there's, there's, there's no hey! quit in Magsayo. Sa pagtatapos ng round 6, ay mababaka sa mukha ni Magsayo. Ang hirap ng pinagdadaan ng laban sa kamay ng isang Mexican warrior. Seeing around, firing off these... Beautiful shot, right? According to CompuBox, 65% of the fight at range. Away. And here's Julio Seha acting as the gatekeeper. You must go through me. Maxayo, still a dangerous man. And this is a test of his will. Seha brought that upon himself. He had his hands down and got hit with a clip with the right hand that started off that little uh, flurry that Maxayo had. Excellent action. And we're going to go upstairs right after this. Maxayo again not reacting well. I'm calling the fight for you. Right. Whereas there's kids out here going, oh, down, that's down and never the early action with Maxayo just showing off that's his that's skills that's and his hands battling to the body and breaking down Mark Maxayo. So okay. now we Seha, get to take, yep. Larry Hazard has it about even. You know, the judges are probably in the same boat. Maxayo gets yeah. there. He's wrapping him up because he doesn't want any part of Smart that move, inside right? game you right now. That. Yeah, you went on the, on the Seha chin. Seha score on the inside by tying him up. So... You know, if Seha doesn't force himself on Maxayo, he'll be able to implement that. He's close enough to right. Seha to hit him, so he's coming up short. He's able to touch him there. Mark Maxayo, Victor Ortiz, two fighters looking to reclaim. Ngunit sa pagsapit ng round 9, ay dahan-dahan ang nakakabawi si Maxayo at nagagawa na ditong makapagpatama ng ilang mga solidong kombinasyon. and move try to score from out there and it's it's uh, i think it's it's got merit keeping him on the ropes and not letting him off the ropes see how he backed off of him right there say how landing the jab as he gets it now he gets mcsayo in the corner but mcsayo fires back plants and then you don't have to break them let him fight out they do a good right hand by say yeah good body shot right there see, excellent action all after noon joe yeah oh it's I mean, the fights that we opened up with jose valenzuela a, with us earlier on fox and jose valenzuela got to 9 and 0 he's 22 years old he's out of indianapolis and detroit he's 14 and 0 got a win over a very game Brad Kilvesky blowing off his strategy pretty well he, he wanted to tee off there with the hook and say how just at sa pagtungtong ng round 10 ay pinatunayan ni magsayo na hindi niya pa oras upang makuha ang kanyang unang pagkatalo really now magsayo jumps back in and 
now with some renewed vigor. Firing off right front of shots. Isang solidong looping right cross ang pinakawala ni Magsayo na agad namang tumama sa mukha ni Seha. Sa sobrang tindi ng binitiwang tira ni Magsayo ay agad na bumagsak si Seha sa ibabaw ng lona. At dito ay hindi na nagawang magbilang ng referee dahil sa tindi ng pinsala nito kay Seha. Dahil dito, ilang minutong nawala ng malay ang Mexican fighter. At dito ay nakuha ni Magsayo ang panalo via round 10 knockout. Maganda ang pinakitang laban ng Meksikanong si Seha, lalo na noong mapuruhan nito ang ating pambato sa round 5. Subalit, hindi nito nalampasan ang determinasyong manalo ng isang tunay na mandirigma. Kung nabitin ka naman sa ating video, ay inaan niya ang kitang mag-subscribe at pindutin ang bell button para updated ka sa mga kalidad na boxing topic. Maraming salamat po!